What up, though? Y'all already know how it go. Make sure y'all smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. We got my boy here, and I've been waiting on this forever. Can you please introduce the people to you, man? Who are you? Where you from? Yo, you got Juice, the messenger here from the east side of Detroit, representing the Beat Factory 313. Mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to run with Demetrius Holloway, Maserati, Rick Clifford Jones. And we'll be bringing you some tales from the trenches. Oh, so, okay, so you used to run with Demetrius Holloway? Yeah. That, that, that's the infamous crew. Now it's from the east side of Detroit, right? Yeah. You know, so what, what? What age was you when you first hopped off the off the porch? Um, shoot, eleven. I was eleven. Uh, what? What made you get to the streets that that young? To the the mopeds that just came out the the the, the Porsche mopeds and the sprees. And I was <laughs> like, I, I gotta have one. You feel me? And you know, my uh, uncle was already in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You no. Know, um, one of my uncles was part of the crew with White Boy Rick. You know what I'm saying? He got indicted first. We go get to that. Um, Cliff Num, Cliff Num was around my uncles and aunts. And them, no Cliff like family. You know what I'm saying? Demetrius like family. Maserati dated my auntie. He like family. So it was just just seeing the the money and the glamour. You know they coming through. Um, Cadillacs, you know what I'm saying? Nice women, they dressing nice, you know, Maserati and them dressed in suits and stuff, basically, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that that appealed to me, you know what I'm saying? What was this around the 70s, 80s? What was it? Um, shoot, you figure this was the 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 mid 80s, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so you figure um 84, 85, you know what I'm saying? So around 80, 87 is when when that crack really hit. So that's when we is really that's when I really was getting my hands wet. Then you know what I'm saying. When the crack era really hit, you know, at first you know being 11 and stuff, they you know the older guys wouldn't put no bag in your hand back then. You feel me? What they right. do? How you how you on lookout tip? You know what I'm saying? You run around and you see the police. They tell you, you see the police. You holler phone off the hook. You know what I'm saying? So that let them right. know the, poli the police in the vicinity. So you ride your bike, patrol the area, the neighborhood up and down the blocks, around the blocks, and just look, keep your eyes open. You feel me? If you see anything suspicious, you know what I'm saying? They used to use the Edison, you know, that was the electricity and all that. They used to use them company trucks and try to sit in the neighborhood. You feel me? Okay, okay. Well, did, did you notice a difference in your neighborhood when crack hit? Oh yeah, you know when the crack hit, you know, like everybody had money. One put put in the mind of when when they just did that, um, what they call that the PPP. When everybody <laughs> got the PPP, that's how it was with the crack here. You feel me? Oh, everybody was getting some type of money. Somebody and everybody family was getting a piece of the pie. And then back then, it was more unity. You know what I'm saying? So it was more sharing. Then you know we used to ride around and um. Before I could drive, you know, I was riding around with the older guys and look for workers my age, young guys, um, under un, under under sixteen. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere from 11, 11 to fourteen. You know what I'm saying? And just pull up wow. on them. Hey, y'all want to make some money? You know what I'm saying? Want to work this spot thousand dollars a week? You know what I'm saying? Don't know them from a can of paint. Take them, put them in a spot, and it's on and popping. You feel me? Damn, a thousand dollars a week. People shit. The people don't make that in two weeks of their job. Y'all, you, you, you feel me? So that's how plentiful the money was back then, and it wasn't nothing. If, if if your word your word was everything, it wasn't even about this. You were spending the block when you were slide. It was more if you was a good hustler and your word was something. You could get a bag. You know what I'm saying? They was looking for hustlers. They weren't looking for no um drillers. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, it was so much money changing hands. You know what I'm saying that. A thousand dollars a week was a drop in the bucket. They giving you a thousand dollars a week, plus they was showing you how to make two dollar tops. You know what I'm saying? So you you sell a dime, but you sell it for twelve, and you keep the two dollars. Or you selling you selling nickels, you selling for sevens, you keep the two dollars turned into five. You feel me? Plus they giving you thirty off a hundred. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, as, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? As well as at the end of the week, you last the whole week. You getting a thousand dollars nine nine times ten, they put you on the spot and they give you a thousand dollar a week. That motherfucker been buying you. You feel me? It's been right. hit the floor. 
it had been hit before. And, you know, back then they hit you, they hit police, hit the spot. No sooner than they leave, they come back, put up some more armor guard. You know, had the old armor guard gates, like jail gates, put the old armor guard back up, put two more young guys in there, put another sack in there, and it's back to roll. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So you, you get into the game, do you get all the automatically get introduced into a crew or did you have to work your way in to meeting these people or whatnot? Well, no, I was kind of for, like I say, before, before I even got in the game, all, all of them used to come to my house. Cause I, I, my mom's raised my uncles. Them, so I got uncles. Them, that's only a few years older than me. That's more like my brothers, you know what I'm saying? And then, mm -hmm. then my older uncles, which would be they big brothers was already in the game. Like they they come from the world, Kincaid and all them time. You know what I'm saying? Um 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 Frank Nitty Usher and them time. You know what I'm saying? Doc Holiday, my uncle didn't come from them. We go get to them too. When we go go back, we go go forth back and forth. But anyway, um I got I got I really got in the game. I was blessed because everybody that even if they wasn't blood they was damn near light blood was already in the game. So when I decided to get in the game, they pretty much, I was hand fed. Like, man, you ain't got to do this, oh, do limited things. Like, you know, I ran pick up and drop off, meaning they had me take the sack over and drop it off to the spot, check on the work to see if they need anything. You know what I'm saying? Then mm -hmm. I went from that to I was cooking up. You know what I'm saying? Once I got old, they taught me how to cook. So I worked the cookout. See, it was more structured when I came into the game. You know what I'm saying? You had a, you had a chain of command. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had a different function. You know what I'm saying? To make the machine right. work right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you, you work your way up, and that's how you got paid. You know what I'm saying? You you show you show you was um worthy of it. You know what I'm saying? Your actions show how you earn. Your earn. You know what I'm saying? They didn't hold you up like now. Oh, um, motherfuckers stopping the show. You know what I'm saying? Back then, they want they wanted everybody to earn, go get your money. You know what I'm saying? That's why it was so much circulating. Everybody was eating. You feel me? Now, let's take it back. You said a name that's kind of popular or, or whatnot is an infamous uh, legend in the street. You said, uh, I think it's Wayman World Benji Kincaid. Yeah. Who, who was he to the streets at the time? Well, you know, World... It wasn't world then, you know, on the streets, world wasn't the man on the streets. He had an older brother. His brother was the man. Um, um, what's his brother name? Um, he just passed too. Um C Dell. C Dell the oldest brother. Now see C Dell was cool with um Eddie Jackson now. You know what I'm saying? So Eddie Jackson loved C Dell and put C Dell on. C Dell could get anything. Um, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? That's how it was. You know, I was young then, but Cedell was the man. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about world. World name really started ringing once he went to the penitentiary and started shooting this movie. He became the man in the penitentiary, and it and his it, it just outshadowed. You know what I'm saying? His image. You feel me? Oh damn. Okay. I thought I thought he was like out here going crazy. No, it was it was his big brother. You know what I'm saying? Like say his big brother come up in the pimp town. Like say it wasn't all that drilling then. So. His big brother come up as a player, you feel me? And the big the plugs loved him, so they made sure he had, so he had the work and the bitches and all that then. You feel me? So they respect it, the world and, and Timmy on that, you know what I'm saying? Is it is it um is it Demetrius Holloway that they said uh world had hit? Right. Or was it Maserati? They, oh. No, it, it was it they said world had something to do with Meech, allegedly. You feel me? Uh, now that 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 go back, like I say, that go back to um when it was it was diff it was four different crews. You know what I'm saying? When 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 me when me started riding, and I in our era time, Mitra's Holloway was like um Demetrius um Flannery. You feel me? Right. That was our big meet. You know what I'm saying? So you know when you when you ran the crown. All the up and comers want the crown. You feel me? Meech had been running the crown, holding the holding the crowd up. It wasn't to me. Now I could be wrong, but I don't take it. Um, world had put him on. I didn't see another document come up. World put him on, and that's why they got into it. It was a plug. No, nah, world ain't had no plug that that Meech had. You know what I'm saying? He didn't go through world to get on. You feel me? Not to my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm-hmm. Um, what I hear, you know what I'm saying, on our end, they was trying to put the soft squeeze down. You feel me? He was in the way. Once they all crewed up, you know what I'm saying? You know, the friends had been knocking shit down, which he didn't control the friend. Maserati controlled the friends, but that's his man. That's his underboss. You feel me? So it's like y'all got this going on. You know what I'm saying? The friends was doing their own thing. They weren't um, being dictated to. They weren't buying it. You feel me? You got a, you got a family of hitters. You feel me? You got four blood brothers. Then they got their two cousins. All of them hit. Then they got their home where all of them are hit. You feel me? I'm talking right. about the original friends. I ain't talking about when you go off into the machine and 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 Chuck and all them. I'm talking about before Chuck and Stacey so even came a part of the team. Before Boom came a part of the team. You feel me? That's another mm-hmm. one, though. We got to get on that. Boom. You feel me? Okay. Okay. Let me, let me ask you this, though. Before we get into that. Was, was YBI popping around this time? No, YBI was already, they had already the, um, this amount of YBI, you feel me? They can't okay, got YBI, see, you, you got to understand, they can't got YBI 82, something like that, 82, 83, you feel me? Oh, so they had crack in 82? No, YBI was selling heroin, that's why heroin. they got all that money, they was they had that dog, you feel me? Oh, okay, now, okay, now, <laughs> now you, now you putting the pieces together for me, okay, I get it. Right. I'm like, because a, a lot of people think YBI was popping in the late 80s, early 90s, but that no. was before then. That was okay. before they was popping. You got to understand YBI was popping 70, 79 to like 83. You know mm. what I'm saying? Late 70, early 80s when it, when it was about when it was about that raw. You know what I'm saying? Right. They had that. That's why you hear the names of their drugs. They had Gucci Khan. And all that, excuse me, they had all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and that what you just said right there that tie in the Uchi Khan name that you know the gotta be <laughs> right, <laughs> that's what he was yeah. talking about, man. This shit, it should all right, hit that, yeah, that comes from them, Butch, no, you know what I'm saying? Sylvester Seal, them see, everybody don't know Sylvester Seal wasn't YBI, Sylvester Seal was they plug allegedly, you feel me. Mm-hmm. And so then you had Butch, WW, Wonderful Wayne. Then you had the, the, the people, brother, Raymond and Timmy. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Now, now, those who don't, now when we, when the crack, when the crack era did hit, those who wasn't in jail out of YBI was still relevant on the streets. You feel me? But right. YBI as a crew was dismantled. You feel me? Okay. Now, we get this confused a lot too. Who was the number one? Was it was, was it Meech or was it Maserati? Because Maserati got the, the the name buried in the casket, getting people. Who was the who was the one? Who was the two? Who was Jordan? Who was Pippen? Shoot, the Meech was, was Jordan. Um, um, Maserati was Pippen. You feel me? But he was the uh, he was the front man. He did his job well. You feel me? He, see, in our time, you couldn't get to the boss. You weren't supposed to get to the boss. You feel me? Yeah, you go, and see that's another thing. A lot of them boys got mad. See, they, they was all cool. Let's get to that. All the all the big fellas was cool. They all did time together. Once upon a time, if you trace it back, Cliff Jones, World Kincaid, GG, um, um, Demetrius Holloway. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, Butch Jones. You know what I'm saying? All of them was locked. All of them at once upon a time was at MR. Now, how? What's the odds of that? All of them come up, coming up gangsters, um, up and coming gangsters, all in one spot at one time and lock up. You feel me? See, that's what part of these stories come from. Whereas, a oh, world put them boys on. You know what I'm saying? Because see, world was a little older than them, so this world world was the man in jail. So when they come to jail, you know what I'm saying? World was the guy to get with. You feel me? Whatever you needed. You know what I'm saying? So I think, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wasn't there at the time, but I believe that's where all that comes from, world, this and that other, because um Meech was dealing with the foreigners. If 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 you look at any of the fair work of them being on him and stuff, they knew he was um dealing with um foreigners, you know what I'm saying? And um World had been locked up. You gotta understand, world been locked up since the 70s, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, Before the crack right. the crack cocaine. So how the fuck would he have a plug like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Just, just we go make we go make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? 
I believe, you know what I'm saying? This is my own belief, you know what I'm saying? Um, dog, dog a mastermind, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of time to think, you know what I'm saying? And he met all the right motherfuckers, you feel me? He, he utilized his assets, you feel me? Right. And 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 he put his he put himself in 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 people's business. You know what I'm saying? He's making people business. He is trying to survive, trying to trying to benefit off of it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Which he made he made a lot of friends, but he made a whole lot more enemies once guys was able to start thinking for themselves and seeing like, oh look, you know what I'm saying? He ran uh, he ran through a, a lot of good guys allegedly. You know what I'm saying? After I. After he done ran through him and I done met him, then I hear different stories. Like I say, I, I ain't had no bad experience with World. I got my man's was his man, you feel me? But then I run into guys like Crusher, rest in peace, the big Crusher, Pro, Brewster Project. Crusher was one of his man, but towards the end, Crusher had a different out, um, outlook on him once he got older. So you got to understand, he took advantage of a lot of guys when they was young coming in, trying to find themselves with all that heart. You feel me? He seen mm -hmm. he seen the potential and he seen this guy dying, this, this this young guy beast, you feel me? And he knew how right. to he knew how to manipulate that energy to use it to his advantage, you feel me? Okay. That that's just my outlook of it. You feel me? Other people go have their own, you know, perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, um his track record speaks for itself. I ain't I ain't putting no slime on the nigga name. You know what I'm saying? Shit, look at his track record. You feel me? Nigga name always in something. You feel me? Yeah, I, I, I've heard similar. And you basically asked my question because I was going to ask you, how does a guy like 5'8", that small, got this big of a name and his reputation, but he got a mind. His mind. To think. See, and see, that's what they, that's what they fail to realize. I, your grandparents and mine have told me you probably heard it from yours. If you do some, you do something that you shouldn't have did, and they say, "Boy, if you think you would be dangerous, you feel me?" Yeah, yeah, they do. If you think you would be dangerous, dog knew how to think. It wasn't he was physically dangerous. If you check his track record, I bet can't nobody tell you. Oh, world butchered such and such. World shot such and such. World did this to such and such. His name ain't attached to that. His name attached to he made it happen. You feel me? Yeah, but him physically itself, I I I, I ain't heard Nan's story, and I, I I got over fifteen years in the penitentiary myself. You feel me? I ain't heard yeah. Nan's story, and I've been with I've been with all his mans and all that. I ain't heard Nan's story. He did it himself. You feel me? Right. So that, that that make you ask yourself all these hardcore gangsters how they was able, like you say, this little bitty guy manipulate them. He had the mind power though. You feel me? Right. Make you believe in him. You feel me? Okay, so so y'all getting to the money. Mm -hmm. it, your click is called what? No, no, shoot, we just running with me. You know, some people on the streets called us the Monster Crew. You feel uh -huh. me? That that was that was the name of one of the bags Mitch was putting out allegedly. You feel me? That monster. Same thing with the best friends. They had the best friend over there. You know what I'm saying? So the name stuck. You know what I'm saying? Was y'all cool with the best friends? Was that was was that y'all subgroup or something like that? They would no, we was cool with them. That was Maserati crew, so we was all really one crew. We didn't hang out or nothing. No, we didn't get together and have meetings or none of that. No, but it it was mutual understanding. We saw each other, you know, we could get a nod, you know what I'm saying? We knew who and, each and, other was. Uh huh. And, and how do you get a name like the best friends? <laughs> Dog, that was the Meech came up with that name. That was the name of one of Meech bags. You feel me? And I think you know this. this I'm gonna I'm make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get it confirmed. But um, my understanding, they had that bag over there, and they was over there in Money Marco neighborhood. So when Money Marco checking for who 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 show stopping his his role, you feel me? They the fiends hollering and shit. Them boy, them boy, them best friend niggas over there. You know what I'm saying? And it just stuck. You know they went to war. You know Marco and it was 2020. You know what I'm saying? So they went to war. So it, it out of that, it stuck. You know what I'm saying? You said he was 2020? Yeah, 2020. That was, that was a crew back then, a, a, a drug crew, 2020. So oh, that's okay, okay. Call. You know, remember like the news thing, 2020? They used to call themselves 2020. Oh, yeah. okay. Because there's a crew out now, well, back in the early 2000s, it was 2020. So, okay, so, okay. 
I was that probably was that. some of their kids and some of that off the west side and stuff. You feel me? Because some a lot of them twenty twenty boys was from the west side. They was getting money. They was from the west side. See, that's what you gotta understand. A lot of them, even though they was on the west side, they most of them originated from the east side. Like even Poncho and them. That's like Marco ran to the west side to Poncho and them. That's how he got stronger. But Poncho really, even though he was over there in Oak Park and North End and all that. He really an East Side boy, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's how that that's how that went down with them boys, you know what I'm saying? Um Dog them was 2020, dog them had that best friend. They all went to school together, you know. Something what I ain't gonna say they all those of the same age of Marco, you know, he went to school with Rock and Reds and them, and so they had a conflict of interest there, you know what I'm saying? You show see back then in our time. It wasn't about junk. It wasn't no internet, so it wasn't no internet beef and stuff. If, if the wars came about, you 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 over here on my block. You know what I'm saying? You part of you getting money ain't ain't in this script over here. You know what I'm saying? Take your show somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker only go tell you once, and then they go start showing you why it ain't safe for you to be over there. You feel me? So right. you know, um, some guys felt no, it was enough money for everybody. Can't tell me what to do, so they they shoot, they go to war for these blocks, you know, burn your house down, shoot it up, all that type of stuff. You feel me? Uh, have you have you met Rock and Reds? Talk to Rock and Reds. Who was he? That's another name. This like Rock, man, Rock and Reds, original best friend, founder. You feel me? Um, uh -huh. Brown brother. You know what I'm saying? Big brother to Boogaloo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I talked to Rock and Reds. I'm gonna have him call too. We go tap, in, have him tap in. Um, Reg, Reg was a, a funny cat, you know what I'm saying? He's about that action, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? His reputation speaks for itself, you know what I'm saying? Um, but for the most part, um, all them, all them, all them Brown brothers was cool. They was, they was about business, you know what I'm saying? Um, once you got to know them, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you just seen them in traffic, they go have their grizzly on. You know, they was in the, they was in the gang. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's dog eat dog world. You know what I'm saying? But when you catch them unwinding, then they was like a, a silly group of guys. You know what I'm saying? Normal cats. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, but did it, you see Rock and Reg on um? Who was it? Uh, Terrence Gangster Williams. Yeah, I seen you know, Terrence Gangster Williams, and he told me, dog, Terrence Gangster Williams, um. And keep his word to him. You feel me? What, um, what was his word? He ain't getting to it. He he ain't holding him down. You know what I'm saying? He ain't say exactly what, but he's like he didn't break bread with him. You know what I'm saying? That was part of it. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't get back with him. You know what I'm saying? He ain't heard back from him. So we go we go get him on here and let him tell his story and speak his piece on him. You feel me? Okay. But, he didn't, line up. but see, he didn't he didn't get the real he didn't get the story, you know what I'm saying? See, um, it's when they speak on the best friend, we ain't gonna speak on the same stories everybody else telling. It's like they feeding off the air. We go get them to tell some exclusive stuff, some untold story. We go get into um, they older brother ghosts in Israel. You feel me? The un yeah. you know people ain't spoke on them, you know, because they don't know nothing about them. You know, this is how it started. This is where it started from. We'll get to the root of when it started. You know what I'm saying? Right. What led up to their demise? You feel me? See, uh -huh. it's 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 a lot that go with that. You know what I'm saying? Whereas it's a lot of allegedly on what happened with them, brother. So that's why I want to get them on here. We gonna stop let um these 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 other bloggers and podcasters get on here and um not know what they talking about and, and and get people who really wasn't there speaking on on on. On the facts, you know what I'm saying. We go, we go get it from the horses, man. You know what I'm saying. We ain't go, we ain't go. Um, let the culture vultures and none of them tell these stories no more. We go, we go tell them. You know what I'm saying. And we go get these. We go, we go get the ones who actually played a part that was there. Not, 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 not. Um, we'll get the founding fathers. Put it that way. We'll get the original guys to speak. Exactly. Yeah. That that that's gonna be great because. At the end of the day, they can't ask the questions we can ask because the things we really heard living out here and having forefathers that come from it, they can't do that shit. They just go off of what they might have read in the book or seen in the newspaper or something like that. But it's it's some crazy stories. But what right. I want to get into, it's the, the Nate Boone character, man. When I when I looked at it at first, 
I'm like, he he like he reminded me of one of those gifted liars that been in the penitentiary a while and just tell you these crazy, yeah, every crazy story in the book. And then after I come to that conclusion, people just start coming out the woodwork like, hey, bro, I ain't really laying like that. And that's not true. And it's a lot of stuff just don't make sense. Right. You read him right too, nephew. You got a good, you got a good eye on that. Cause you know, just ask yourself how he get immunity for 30 bodies. <laughs> you got immunity for 30 bodies. What could you possibly tell you got immunity for 30 bodies? Cause you couldn't say you was telling on the friends, all them boys took cops. They got right. to tell them they self. They got to tell them they self. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Excluding Rock and Reds because he didn't get indicted with the new crew. But all the new crew that he was with that tried to hit him, you feel me? All them boys took cops. So why would they give you, let you cop out for 30 bodies? You feel me? And then he up there, he up there um, trying to over glorify himself. His name wasn't ringing out here like that. He became part of a crew that was already winning. Them boys had been knocking shit down, you feel me? When he come a part of them, you feel me? So and what was his crew? He, he came a part of the best friends. Now, I don't know wh- where he came from before that. I, like I say, he was didn't nobody know him but his parents. Ain't nobody heard of no boom. When nobody out here coming to the Grand Reaper, boom, coming through, boom, looking for you, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Now, if you said Rocky Ridge, that was a different story. If you said the best friends, that was a different story. But his name wasn't leading that pack, dog. He ain't grabbed no Maserati, put no knife through his neck. I know that brother personally. You feel me? It would mm-hmm. it would have been a different outcome. If he did do that, it would have been a different outcome. He wouldn't have got $2,000 and been put on the crew. You feel me? Right. He, he, he would have got something else, but it wouldn't have been no $2,000 in the membership. You feel me? <laughs> you know, mate. Put a knife to his neck, you get some money in the membership. <laughs> Right, you feel make that make sense. Say now, when he telling the story on on on, on say cheese, when he telling Sean Cotton the story, um, about when they try to kill him. See, he over glorifying himself, but the real story would have been if he had told the incident that they was on. They was on a hit allegedly. Then you know what I'm saying. Where he told the story, they was on the hit. You know what I'm saying. There ain't no allegedly. They was they was up there. Um. They killed, they killed Joe Long. You know what I'm saying? Bone. Now, Bone was a notorious hit, man, for Money Marco. You feel me? So now, you trying to glorify and make yourself all oh, the Grand Reaper, this, now, they missed the... Re- and that's what I'm saying about um getting these bloggers from up elsewhere, letting them speak on it. They missed the real content right there. So what was, what was transpiring, Joe Long was hit, man. He was muscled for Money Marco. You know what I'm saying? Um... He was out here getting money, flashing BMW, all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Joe Long was out here doing his thing. He was a factor on the east side over there, that Mac area. He come from that Mac and Townsend area. You feel me? Um, well, allegedly, he put the work in on Mark Patrick. You see, we go get to that. Another founding father of the best friend. Nobody never heard say his name, but Mark mm-hmm. Patrick. Mark Patrick was the truth. You feel me? He was the he was the he was the money man of the crew. You feel me? He was making it happen. And he put that work in allegedly. And um, what had happened? Money Mark, I mean not Money Marco, but um, Mark Patrick had got that drop top BMW. He had got this flies BMW. He put the wide body kit on it, seventy thousand dollar kit. That bitch was cold. I'm gonna get pictures of it. But anyway, um, he got killed in that car. You know what I'm saying? I think out of Ink Street, I think if I recall right, he was out of Ink Street and got caught a head cold. Well, you know, they thought somebody else did it. See, that's why I say it's a domino effect. He missed the whole story. Um allegedly, um Mark got killed, but they thought somebody else did it. You know what I'm saying? They hopped on his trail but come to find out it wasn't him. Joe Long. For some reason, got the bump in his gums. He got the pillow talking some females. You know what I'm saying? He let the females bring it out of him that that was really him. And some kind of way, he got back to them guys. You feel me? The friends. He got back to the friends. What led up to the day, boom, them pull up. They had laid out there. And it was a classic. Um, Allegedly, from the witnesses, they was already out there. Like, they was working on the car. They was out there in overalls. Like, they was working like the car had broke down. Truck or something had broke down. They was out there like they was fixing on it. Joe Long called a cab to this broad house. You feel me? I don't know her name at this time, but we were investigating. But, um, you know, this this over 30 years ago, 20-plus years ago. 
Mm-hmm. Um, they pull up, he pull up, caught a cab, but no what Uber, then it's taxi cab. You know what I'm saying? Right. He, caught a, he caught a taxi to the chick house. They was already out there, so that threw him off. He hit man, he 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 he, he alerted these type of things. So believing that threw him off. He went on in the girl house, whatever, however long he stayed at the chick house, called a cab to leave. So when he get get in the cab to leave, that's when they, they jump out of the ambush and they hit him with the choppers, the M sixteen, they out there lighting the cab up. You know what I'm saying? Broad day, like this broad day, like summer day. You feel me? Um, they hit him in the cab drive, but allegedly, well, they lit the car up, so you know they hit the cab drive too. But they said um Bone got the bus in the cab too. You know what I'm saying? He had the pistol on him. But you know, um Boom said Lucky even went up to the car to the cab, opened the back door, and emptied the M16 in there. But you steady trying to glorify. You know what I'm saying? You the Grand Reaper and all that. You feel me? But mm-hmm. um, we go get we go bring that story out too, Bone. We go um Joe Long story out too. Um, but yeah, they they killed Joe Long, and in the process of them killing Joe Long, that's when they they put they put the play down on um Boom Big Ass. You feel me? They hit get to hitting him with the chop in the M16. You feel me? But you saying th- these boys were scared of you, mind you. Before they hit him, they had already dusted this little brother off. You feel me? Now, they so scared of you, they killed your little brother before killing you, but you the Grand Reaper. You know what I'm saying? Right. Make sense. When they want to get him, get get the Grand Reaper out the way first, then we could get rid of little brother easy. You feel me? If they were so scared of you, you feel me? But that just show you the contradiction and the stories that he be up here telling. You know what I'm saying? That's what... He, he the main reason I, I, I decided to want to tell these stories, seeing him two, three years ago telling these lies. You feel me? Dog, uh-huh. I'm, I'm not saying he ain't never killed nobody because I don't know him like that. But I can say his name wasn't ringing, ringing on these streets of, oh, here come boom, this and other. He wasn't on no motherfucking downtown building with no scope trying to hit no white boy Rick either. That's a, another motherfucking lie. What federal building you think he go be able to, a big black nigga go be able to get on downtown, <laughs> dog, with a sniper rifle? On the real, man, you telling me these type of stories, man. You feel me? You go hit us with a navigating story like that, dog. Oh, okay, uh, let, me, let me ask this for Get back to that. What 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 was the situation that got his little brother whack like that? Now, that he didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch it. I'm going to have to go back and see what did he say. But allegedly, you know what I'm saying, word on the streets that them boys, they had found out them boys was rats. You feel me? That's why they was getting rid of them. They 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 knew they they ate cheese. You feel me? Right. It wasn't no it wasn't no other reason, y'all. Your brother, your brother, your brother got caught up in some allegedly, because I don't know for a fact, but I'm a researcher. I think his brother caught a case and they felt that he was gonna give it up. You know what I'm saying? So they uh-huh. silenced him. And then like he tried to tell that um I'm just clean up some of the stuff he said because he was lying. He gonna say Rocky Reds um, went over there and um, shot them people up, um, Austin them up, and the little girl got shot. That wasn't Reds. That was Stay So. What they did back then, the marshals was looking for Reds because he had got out on Bonsi. The, the story was so classic. Reds, Reds locked up for murder, killing Freaky Steve, Steve Roselle. Okay, allegedly. He, he put in his appeal. His appeal really was supposed to be shot down. But from court records, from, 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 from the court investigation, they said that his lawyer, which was Paul Curtis at the time, one of the coldest, one of the coldest lawyers in our era as far as high-profile cases, Paul Curtis go get you off, him and Ed Buffalino. But anyway, Paul Curtis supposed to got the judge, greased the judge hands, you feel me, and got him a bond. That's when they caught them boys in New York. They caught him in New York with his brother and Boogaloo got away. But he was trying, how they turned it, how they turned it up. And I, he re, he went with what the newspaper said. They turned up the, the search, the manhunt for Reg because he wouldn't turn himself back in because they made a mistake and let him out. They put, just so happened, stay so Austin them got caught. I think Chip, it might have been Chip or Austin. One of them, both of them got killed, but one of them got caught out of town. I can't remember who because it been a many. But they was they was coming from Kentucky. Some got caught with the guns. Anyway, they they thought they was gonna corroborate. Um, the machine go through there. And he 
spray the porch. It just so happened, little girl happened to be coming to the door. Her daddy out there. She five years old, I think. She walked to the door and she caught a straight bullet. God rest her soul. Um, and to turn up the manhunt to get Reg off the street, they put that on him. You know, if you if you just describe a black person in a hoodie, oh, it's a big black guy standing about six plus tall, dark skin, hoodie on. All of them fitted that description. Rocky Reg, Boogaloo, and Stay. So you feel me? They mm -hmm. talk big, so they they was able to to put it say. He was believed to be the suspect. Then I see Boom going here, like, yeah, he did that. He didn't do that. Stay so confessed to it. If you um pull up, we go pull up state. I already did it, but I'm gonna pull it up when we put it on here. But the machine, um, Stacy Colbert, he had already confessed to the murders. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say how Boom get immunity for thirty bodies, and them boys had told on they sell. They confessed to all their own bodies. You feel me? So what? how you ain't never go to jail because he been had been working. You know what I'm saying? That's the only. I I don't know how long he been working, but that's the outcome that it looked like. You ain't get you ain't get locked up. Period. You feel me? Not yeah. not, on the, not on the best friend indictment. He didn't go down for that. Yeah, the, to get off on thirty bodies, I think you would have had to bring down like the Taliban or some shit like that. Some uh, uh president or something. <laughs> right? You feel me? 30 bodies, dog, and you still out here telling about it? Come on, man. Ain't nobody getting that much immunity. Who who was you to deserve that type of immunity? What did you what did you actually get them? Not no crack dealers. You feel me? What could you actually get them to cover up 30 bodies? For real. Facts. And then um the crazy story, like let's get back to it too. Um it was it if he had told the whole play, I'm only go. I only get to speak on pieces of. I'm gonna go back and get it all. But it started with Dex. See, he they ain't even spoken all the boy. Dex Dex was the best friend. Dex was cool. I had just seen Dex and Rado. That was one of the um, clubs. Um, the who's who go to on the week on on Wednesday nights on um the east side of Detroit Rado's Lounge. Um, I had just seen Dex and Rado's line, him, Fatback, Chuck, and all of them. Um, and me and Fatback was about to have some words, but Dex moved it out. You know what I'm saying? I went to check on Fatback, and Dex was like, "No, no, let's let 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 that slide," because he had been speaking on the streets to some bras, nothing major. But um, come to find out, Dex had got a binge. And they had a meeting, allegedly. I wasn't there, so, you know, we're going to take it with a grain of salt. They supposed to have a meeting saying that if Dex if Dex ain't had that money, he ain't bought a new car, he ain't got this Benz, he ain't got, that, he ain't got his ticket money, Dex go have problems. Well, somebody liked it, Dex, that was that was a new member of the crew. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, supposedly at that meeting, he voiced his opinion, like, to the stink that... um. Bat nothing happened to Dex. Let him deal with that or whatever, Dex. Oh, you know, let him check. That's his little man. You know what I'm saying? And some of the original friends took that offensive. Like, nigga, who, who was you to tell us what to do? You ain't no real friend. You feel me? Right. And, and one thing led to another. And after that meeting, I don't know how long after the meeting. Was it the very next day or a day or two later, Dex got killed? You feel me? So when Dex get killed, that's when a couple days later, Mark Patrick get killed. You feel me? So mm -hmm. when when Mark Patrick get killed, they don't know Joe Long did it. That's why I say Joe Long put himself out there. When Mark Patrick got killed, they actually thought the guy who was a new member of the Friends killed Mark Patrick because they thought they thought Mark Patrick killed Dex. You feel me? So they they thought they thought we gonna just say it was Cap. I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to release the names and all that. We gonna get to that story. The telling uncut. I'm um, just holler at a few people, make sure they cool with it. You feel me? But um, because everybody dead. Um, but I still want to holler. I know people family. But um, we go call them Cap. Say, say Cap. Say, say for instance, Cap liked the Dex. Well, Cap tell tell the meeting don't bat nothing happen to Dex. Well, Dex get killed after that meet. Well, when Dex get killed, say Cap took it that them motherfuckers violated what he said. So Mark Patrick ended up dead. So the crew thinking mm. Cap Cap kept his word back. Nothing happened to Dex. So Cap ended up dead. 
only to find out Cap ain't even the one that killed Mark Patrick. It turned out to be Joe Long, and they only found that out because Joe Long was pillow talking. And the chick went back and told the friends, see, because you got to understand, the friends weren't just out here knocking shit down. Them niggas, the boys was getting money. You feel me? Right. So they 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 dress them nice. They got all the fly whips. They riding around here, five sixty bands and all that. Young boys, you feel me? They clean. They got the jewelry. They got all the money. You feel me? So they got the broads. You know what I'm talking about? So Joe Long pillow talk. Really, he would have. I ain't saying he wouldn't have never got killed, but at that hour, he wouldn't have got killed for that because he wasn't a suspect of that of, of the Mark Patrick murder until he opened his own mouth. You feel me? Right. So that's that's when they hopped on. That's why they did. See, people didn't understand why they took the drastic measures that they took on 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 on, on Joe Long. But it was all personal because Mark Patrick caught a head cold. You feel me? So when they when it, you 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 hit you hit an official out of their crew. You feel me? So well, when you say head cold, what do you what do you mean by that? For us to don't shoot, know, it, a shot to the shot, head, shot, shot him in his forehead. You feel oh, me? Right okay, in the center. Okay. Yeah, you say Joe Long shot him right in the forehead. You know what I'm saying? And um, and he was in that drop top. So you know what I'm saying? They they took that real person, killed my man, shot him in his face on top of that. You feel me? And then you go have the nerve to tell the bros you did that. When when allegedly somebody else had already took a fall for it, you feel me? So now they really got to clean up, you know what I'm saying? So that's why they that's why lucky that you you heard it from um, boom, words. He was there. That's why Lucky opened the door and emptied the M16 in the back seat of a cab. Cause you imagine what type of damage he did to that boy in that cab. You feel me? They had, they had, they had, they had to tow that, tow the cab away with both bodies in it. You feel me? That's how gruesome that was. And it was all brought that kids and all that out playing. You feel me? And like I say, that was a classic. That was a classic hit. That was, that was, that was just as cold as the Maserati hit in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? They laid out there and was out there before he came. So that means somebody had to put them up on game. He was gonna be there. I don't know who. I never heard of who, but just just on how to play, how it played out. They was there was, before he got there. Was uh, it suspected that it was this? Was it suspected that it was the chick that they told him? Or? Yeah, that's what they said. The chick gave him up. I don't. I don't know what chick was it. The chick at the house he was fucking, or was it one of her friends? But they said a chick, a chick let them know where he was gonna be, and he he showed up. And like I said, they rocked him to sleep because they let him come. When he came, mm -hmm. they was already there working on the car. Now that was cold. That was a classic play. They out there working on the car with all this artillery out there, knowing what they about to do. You feel me? Damn. This the Detroit got a, a gruesome history, huh? Right, and and and. and and it used to be it used to be a cold to a see now it ain't it ain't no cold. Back then it was a cold, so that's why these stories wasn't told. You feel me? But right. the, the reason the the reason I feel they need to be told now because they not that the people speaking on it wasn't there and they telling it wrong. You feel me? And they turned right. they they really um they really opened up a few can of worms. That's what got me out here too, because they spoke on situations that my family was involved in that they told all wrong, dog. You feel me? And so that's yeah, what drew it. me into that's what drew me into like, no, nah, enough is enough, dog. I'm not gonna keep sitting here listening to these motherfuckers tell tell it how they wanna tell it. And they eating off of it. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I've been reaching out to you and a few more people. Like we we go we go get these stories and we go tell the real stories, and you go get to hear them. Hear them from the horse's mouth, not just from me and your mouth. You feel me? We go have those those who are alive to tap in. You feel me? And what, Definitely, man. And what we want to do, like you've been at this, and I, I salute you. You've been putting this down. You've been holding Detroit down on the on the blog and podcast tip all dolo by yourself. You feel me? And Thank you. and you look at all these other people who ain't even from where we from or, or um. Oh, or know the people that actually really did it. They they go out and find anybody that will tell them a story and use news reports and newspaper clippings and build up a documentary or podcast and tell it like it's facts and it don't be facts, man. And they got millions of followers and all that. And then we turn around and we can't get no followers and no views. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You know, if you look at if you look at um just all the Asiatic all the Asiatic um 
bloggers and, 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 and podcasters now. The only ones that's getting real money out the Asiatics is those who was already celebrities before the podcast. Gilly the Kid been in the entertainment game. You feel me? Since the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Mason Cam been in the entertainment game since the 90s. You know what I'm saying? But I'm speaking on guys like you, Petty Tupac TV. You know what I'm saying? Music one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I'm saying? Um, Hood educated. You know what I'm saying? Brothers who really been in the streets for real, been in the penitentiary for real, and come out and they trying to do the same thing, but you ain't getting no 1090 Jake views. You ain't get you ain't getting Vlad views. You know what I'm saying? Or Al Prophet, salute to Al Prophet, he from here, but you ain't getting Al Prophet views. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we want we want the people to tap in. I want everybody to tap in, get get Petty Tupac views up. You know what I'm saying? Get our views up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ride with us, because we're gonna ride for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Ride yeah. with us. We go ride for y'all. You know what I'm saying? We from we from the struggle. We know these stories. We know these people personally. You know what I'm saying? We ain't making it up. All, all the stories you've been telling, you know them boys in jail you speaking of. You know the fives. You know you know the Muslims. You know the Mo Moorish Americans. You know all these boys personally. You feel me? So that's what drew me to you keeping it 100. It's, it's authentic. It ain't right. made up off news reports and all that. Because what the, we very well know what the news says what they use to convict you of, or to make content they sell. You know what I'm saying? That don't make yeah. that don't make that don't make it gospel. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. then then we go go back because you spoke on on world before I forget this. Um Eddie Jackson. Now we go go back to world when you asked me about um do I think world the, the world and Demetrius situation. Eddie I, I watched Eddie Jackson Jr. speaking on it and he's saying okay yeah, um, Demetrius was giving me. I was, I, I had to, uh, he had an apartment. I only one had the keys, and you know, it was 20 things there for me, and I was doing my thing. I don't know if you ever saw that Eddie Jackson. Yeah, okay. I was about to ask you about that. You just got into yeah. it. Go ahead. Yeah, so he's speaking. I'll just, just we go just use make it make sense. You saying, Meech looking out for you, he putting food on your table. And your daddy, you know, he say the fat man, that's his daddy. When he be saying the fat man, that's his daddy, Eddie Jackson Sr. Okay, your daddy's still alive. So if Meech feeding you, your daddy eating too. You feel me? That go without saying. This your, this your pops and he gangster. You feel me? So you saying that the fat man was telling Meech, which y'all all supposed to be cool. He cool with, 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 with world. Benji Kincaid, you feel me? Wayman, however you want to call him. You all cool. But you telling me, dig this, you got two, but you got two major problems. You got the feds and you got world. Just get world 80,000 and that problem go the way. And then you just have to worry about the feds. This is what Eddie Jackson Jr. is saying, right? So I'm gonna feed off that. Make this make sense. If I'm if 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 a motherfucker feed me, that's me and you. You giving me 20 things. You know what I'm saying? You feed me, period, whatever it is, you you let me eat with you. My daddy can't tell me, tell your man to pay this nigga in jail who been in jail for since the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> pay him $80,000 where he'll leave you alone. You feel me? Okay, I'm going to tell my pops just on some real 100 shit. I'm listening, because I'm, I'm going off Eddie Jackson Jr. Listen, he another fake one too. That nigga lying too. Um, pops did this here. My man ain't about to pay, dog. Your man, shit. Tell your man, that's your man, right? Tell your man to fall back. We eating. You feel me? And if you want to, you you look out for him out of your money. But my man ain't about to get him nothing. He ain't about to get soft squalls. Why you think so? If it did go like that and Meech turned it down, why you think Meech turned out? Meech wasn't soft. He wouldn't go go for no motherfucking soft. That sound like a soft squeeze. Well, I'm going to give you 80000 for what he go get him 80000 for? Yeah. Me Make that make the sense. He's been in jail since the 70s. What he owe him 80000 for? Yeah. So just, just stuff like that drew me in a saying, dog, I'm not about to keep sitting back being quiet, listening to these guys tell all these different stories, and they lie. And if, if people really use common sense, they 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 click off that shit, nigga, and, and get them a thumbs down. You feel me? For real. My 
my timeline might be a little off, but wasn't Eddie Jackson on way before y'all came? Yeah, the dead was he like a Wasn't he like a, a super kingpin? Yes, he was a kingpin in his time. He he was so why he would he pay? With... <laughs> Go ahead. Get down with it. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you, yeah, that, yeah, that that don't make sense. <laughs> thank you. But but this man, but I'm saying on they part it don't make sense. If you was a real gangster motherfucker, shit, nobody had to tell you that if this man giving you twenty things. He laying low, giving you the key to go get twenty things at will. Excuse me. And you go sit something and let something happen to him. You know he lying because in our time, you protected the plug. Whatever your plug, whoever your plug was, you made sure the plug was he is sacred. You feel me? Right. Wasn't nobody letting nothing happen to their plug back then. You, I'm not a real motherfucker. So one or two things, you lying or you was a fake motherfucker. Y'all was scared of world. You feel me? Has Eddie Jackson Jr., has he ever been a prisoner or anything like that? Not that I know of. Not saying he haven't, but I never ran into him or heard nobody say he was in jail. All the, all the, all the guys I talk to now that speak on them saying they was clown. He a clown. You feel me? What he, I, what I he, see. I seen an interview some years ago from mm -hmm. a, a lady that knew. They, they said he was very, Eddie Jackson Jr. was very well taken care of from his father's businesses that he inherited. I think wow. maybe it was an auto body shop or something like that. I forget what it was, but he he inherited some money. Right. He ain't. I ain't heard him have to be out there on the block or put no work in or none of that. You feel me? Right. And that's why his stories don't make sense. His his stories more. I'm like this. I'm gonna keep it 100, nephew. I'm I'm, I'm so real at, 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 at this point of my life, man. I'm not I'm not gonna water it down. Not even for not even for my man's now. If you if 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 you if you faking, you fraudulent. If you used to be, if you went bold, then I'm 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 not jacking that no more. I'm not go because what you, who you used to be. The, the saying is you only good as the last nigga you kill. Yeah, meaning you only good as the last good thing you known for. If 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 you used to be a gangster, then you ratted. You was a rat. Now you not gangster no more. Ain't nothing. Gang I'm not jacking at all that. All the gangster shit you did is uh, is, is a void. Is 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 voided now. You feel me? Right. Now on your resume is rat. That's it. Now that's it. You only good as last thing you did. You feel me? Facts. Okay. Uh. Have you ever, uh, like, did, did uh, White Boy Rick, did he have a real big name over there? What's his run? Did it have man, some longevity White, White, to it? White Boy Rick had about a two-year run, man. He ain't had no long run. Just think about it. He got, like, he got locked up right when things started going on. He got hit He got hit in 87 and was, uh, and was locked up by 88. You feel me? And in that period of time, he only had a two-year run. Just think about it. Now, we go get to him. He he had been working with the police all along, but that was on some small stuff. White boy Rick ended up getting him a plug. You feel me? Yeah. It wasn't from it wasn't from no motherfucking feds. The feds weren't giving him that work. Why you think they locked him up? Nan time he got caught. What he got caught with? Um, ten birds on Everston the first time, right? He got caught with ten keys. Never in none of them police reports or a uh, 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 news news articles or uh, on news. Did he say, um, call my handler when he got caught? That the police say, oh, he said, call his handler. This, this the feds drug. So that was cap, man. You feel me? You were sitting there getting getting that work. And when you got caught, you didn't want to do the time. You start throwing motherfuckers under the bus. Simple as that. You feel me? He went from, he went from, um, see, and this is what they want to try to say. Um, he ain't a rat because didn't no drug dealers get busted. You was trying to set motherfuckers up. You got Kathy Curry locked up. And that's what I understand about um Big Man, Big Man, Johnny out here running around here with him. Um, little man, not big man. While little man out here running around with him, like they all blizzum buddies. He sent you to jail. He sent your brothers and sisters to jail. He even tried to tell the feds not to let you out. He didn't want you to ever hit the streets again. Then he started fucking your wife while you in jail after he sent you to jail. Then he tried to hire her and her family locked up where he had them locked up, set them up like he giving them a plug. White mm. boy Rick had Kathy Curry locked up. You feel me? So um, 
Rick wasn't Rick wasn't no he had he had to work, but Rick wasn't no um drug lord, no no boss where he was called no shot callers where he was giving niggas no orders. Like my people from out of state and all that try to call and ask me that. Like, how y'all let that white boy? No, that white boy was being soft scrolls. Like um prime example. Meach Meach allegedly came and got two hundred and fifty thousand from him. He ain't even asked for that money back from Meach. You feel me? So that's how they that's how they was playing that white boy. That white boy had he had grand theft money over there. He was running through a bag. You feel me? But he wasn't he wasn't over there comfortably where he was over there dictating no order. Cliff was coming through there. Cliff come through there. He's shaking. You can look at the interviews when he speak on Cliff Jones. He shake when he talk about him now. You feel me? So he he was over there like Don Knox. He wasn't over that motherfucker comfortably like he was big bad wolf or nothing. You feel me? It wasn't that. He was paying his way. You feel me? Was Boone the one that really tried to kill him? That that's what he said. You know what I'm saying? Um, motherfucker said that he did pull up on not not on no building, but when he talked about he pulled up on him in the car and and slid the van door open on that happened for real. Rick did say that happened for real. You feel me? Now he did say that move happened, but all that downtown on the federal building and all that shit waiting on him come out of federal court. He go snipe him. And fuck no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely cap. Yeah, yeah, come on. I I never seen so many people come out the world after he did that. Even like people's relatives, this in they, the early thirties coming out like, nah, that my pop said that ain't such and such. Like, damn, I I didn't I didn't know it was that that many lies. I knew it was some, but not that many. Wait till we put this out. We go get more. We go get a whole lot of more people in here once we get this out there. Now, if you feel me, because uh -huh. these stories need to be told and. Like I say, um, I'm 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 putting us there close as possible to the truth. Like with the friends, he he tell my son he came with the dog. The friends you had, um, if you look at if you look at the machine confession, he confessed to killing um Mike Mitchell. That's Eminem. He confessed to killing um Walter um Walter Johnny Walter Daniels. That was Walt and um um and Robert Burton, little Bobby. All three of them from the same crew, dog. Do you know the friends came back before before Stacy got with that crew? They had problems with them boys. You know what I'm saying? With Mike Mitchell, now they all sleeping with the same girls and all that type of stuff back then. Not to say uh, uh, exactly what their problem was with Mike Mitchell. And Mike Mitchell was getting money too. Then Mike Mitchell was part of Ed Hansen crew. You see what I'm saying? So they had Maserati and Ed had problems. So it could have been numerous of things that they ain't like them boys. You feel me? But Mike Mitchell, that's another name that ain't be spoke about. We go get to him too, nephew. Mike Mitchell was getting that money. He was one of Ed Mans. One of Ed, he was one of Ed lieutenants until white boy Rick turned him on and started giving him the bricks. And he cut Ed off. You know what I'm saying? So that's why Ed Hansen never liked white boy Rick. You know what I'm saying? See, uh, yeah, I'm trying to plug my phone up now. If you that's all, it's all good. I see it. Yeah. I don't want it to die on us. Yeah, see, um, who, who, all this work y'all was getting, all these bricks everywhere. What, what, what was this coming from? The Mexicans, the Italians, the Jews? What was see, it back, from? back then, it was the Colombians was coming here, man. They was coming here. You had. You had Pablo and Gazelle de Blanco and all them people here. You feel me? Oh, See, that, that, that that's we come up in the cocaine cowboy time. Then you had Freeway Ricky. See, that's what motherfuckers don't know. Allegedly, now I can't say for for a fact, but I'm gonna get some air crew on here with us. That was back then. Um, Ed, Ed was plugged with Freeway Ricky. See, that's that's when he come back. She Ed left Detroit for a minute, and then he come back. And that's when the problems start with him and Maserati now. Because now he don't need them. He got his own plug. You feel me? So when he come back, let me get this uh, charger over here. When he come right. back, hold on one sec. Hold just wait till you get your charger. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, and what I was saying, we, we we was talking about it's something with uh, uh who was getting to work for Freeway Ricky or something. Oh yeah, Ed was getting to work for Free Ray Ricky, so that's when he when he come back here. You know what I'm saying? That's when that's when um all hell break loose, you know what I'm saying? Cause now he come back, he got a big bag, not his own, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he got a little man complex, you know what I'm saying? Ed Ed Ed, Ed smaller statue, but big at heart. You feel me? Right. You know? Like I say, he had all them boys, Mike Mitchell, when Along with Mike Mitchell, see that's what I'm saying. Along with Mike Mitchell, he had access to Walt, um, Skinny Pat, Tone Gray, Walter Johnny, um, Lil Bobby. He had a he had a real crew, and Rick came and destroyed that. You feel me? And he showed tried to trick Rick and Mike Mitchell down um California too. After that, that they was go go. You feel my uncle stopped him like motherfuckers, y'all crazy. They come what? He say come down and he got a hell of a plug for them just to come down to Cali. <laughs> and my uncle they they trying to get my uncle to go too he said what did he exactly say he said yeah he told me and mike um told mike to bring me yeah you bring white boy rick down here with you you know what i'm saying my uncle said yeah and you just took his whole crew from him when he just got a big bag and he telling y'all to fly y'all goofy ass down to cali to see <laughs> him you feel me y'all ain't gonna come back you feel me uh -huh. So Unc changed their mind and they didn't go. But see, with that crew, that's what I was getting to, dog. And that's what I'm saying. This is a stupid motherfucker. I'm glad he didn't. What Stacey was when he was talking about um Stacey on them, um boom. See, before he came part of that crew, them boys was already knocking shit down. They had called. They called. Um, first they called. We gonna go all the way back to like '88, '87. When they first started beefing with Mike Mitchell and them, I don't know what, it, like I said, I can't say exactly what it was about. Was it with the little Ed thing and Maserati? Or was it, you know, they was fucking the same bitches? Because, you know, some bitches back then, they both was fucking. We go get to that because Mike got killed at one of their houses, mama houses. Anyway, um, they catch Walt at Eastland and Foot Locker. Walt pump faking like he got a bang. You feel me? When they, they had words in there, he, he pumped fake and reaching his back like he strapped. They strapped for real. One of them friends up and, 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 and gun him down and, and inside Foot Locker, shoot him in the stomach. You feel me? Inside of Foot Locker in Eastland Mall back then. You feel me? He told. See, that's what motherfuckers don't like. To, he ratted on them. They went to court. The only reason. And they, they had Lot Rock and Reg up for it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to have him tell it. But I want to say they Lot Rock and Reg up for it. And the only way he beat it. Cause when he went, when they went to court, Boogaloo was sitting up there, and and and, and Walt picked out Boogaloo. You feel me? And it was really he had first said it was Rocky Red, so that's how they got it. I told you, Paul Curtis. Paul Curtis got that shit throughout. You feel me? So now we go fast forward it to the nineties. That was like eighty seven, eighty eight. We go fast forward it to the nineties, the mid nineties, when they come back and allegedly Lil Bobby. No, that was that was Walt's um brother. Lil Bobby get money. He running in our town, Philly, all that. Lil Bobby post come back. I think from Philly. I was locked up and I had talked to him. I was in the county jail. He told me he had that that counterfeit money. You know what I'm saying? Well, and then we go we go go through Stacy. See, that's what we go have pull up Stacy hookup because Stacy he don't tell this, but he confessed to all these murders. Lil Lil um. Lil Frank. Lil Frank was getting work allegedly from Boogaloo. You know what I'm saying? Or stay so. One of them was giving him work. He was getting work from the friends, put it that way. Well, Lil Bobby, you know, come and run that money up, that counterfeit money up on him. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was in jail. I'm just going on the street politics. Say so he run they run the money up on him and shit. Well, when it's time, to, when he turned his money and it's counterfeit, fuck you get all this shit from fuck going on, on this funny money. And then he go go back to calculating, dog, 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 them. This guy came through, dog, dog came through. 
when Boogie Lou doing the album, he named who came through. Man, all them niggas is a crew. They came to him at different times. They didn't come at, you feel me? Right, say right. Lil Bobby came in Boston. I don't know exactly how they did it, but just say Lil Bobby came and spent some of the money with him. Then his brother Walt later on come spend some of the money with him. Then somebody, you know what I'm saying? But they was all in the same crew, so they say friends. You start calling them boys Paige. You know, it's beepers back then. Paige and them boy get that money back and bring that work back. You feel me? And them boys uh -huh. playing stupid. Like, I don't know what you're talking, what y'all talking about. We don't know what you're talking about. And say so they put it out there on the streets. Now, this was here. I was hearing this on the streets from jail. Them boys having 30 days to live. First, I heard um, Walt got 30 days. You got 30 days. Oh, you out of here. He was running around telling everybody. They got on his trail. He, he went and got his hair cut, him and Lil Woo. They go get their hair cut. They follow him. Follow him all the way down from they follow him from that 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 Camden and Chalmers area all the way down the state fair and grass. You feel me? To the liquor store. They stopped going to the liquor store, whatever. One of them friends come in there. I don't know which one, because I like to say I was locked up. But this 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 the story that's in the newspaper. One of them come up in there, case them out, rub up against one of them. Thank you, rub up against Walt. Walt said something. Whoever it was, that's the person going out the stove. He tried to follow him out the stove, arguing with him. And all along, the machine on the side of the stove with that chopper, broad daylight. When Walt come out, the machine pop out, hit him with the chopper, gun him down. Say, so then went to run to get in the van. And Walt was still moving. Walt was strapped. Walt still trying to move, get up. But probably just after, after reflex, you feel me? I say Stacy turned back around, run back over there, oozing down some more. You feel me? Boom, mm. back. So they say, Lil Bobby, you got 30 days. You feel me? 30 days went past. Lil Bobby going through the king home. One of his partners from college or from somewhere, he wasn't even in the streets. The guy who was in the van with him. Whoever was with Lil Bobby wasn't the street guy. It was a friend, I guess they went to the basketball game or something somewhere. Well, when they coming back to drop little Bobby to drop old boy off, they catch him in the king home to wet him, kill him. Boom. They steady telling the boys, y'all got 30 days, dog. They wipe the, they wipe they, they crew out. They catch Mike Mitchell. And I ain't understanding Mike Mitchell at the time because um Peaches and they, they both fucking Peaches and them, they sisters, Peaches, Peaches and Dana and shit. And Mike Mitchell sleeping, fucking with one of them, and one of the best friends fucking with one of them. I don't know if it's Boogie Lou Reg or one, one of them fucking with one of the sisters. He fuck, but highs and never, you know them, 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 them your ops fucking with him. I'm, I'm speaking on Mike Mitchell. I ain't understand Mike Mitchell because Mike Mitchell is very intelligent. He wasn't just a street nigga. He, he had book smarts. You feel me? Yeah. Um, Mike Mitchell sat there and um. Steady mess with old girl. I guess he got caught over in Mama House. No, before that, let me back up. They came to Tone Gray House. They was about to leave. They catch Tone Gray, Deonto, Mike Mitchell. Um, I think um Pedro was out there. He ain't get hit. Pedro pulled off, they said. Um, there's a few of them out there, but them friends jumped out on them at um Tone Gray House busting at him. Deonto took a head shot. You feel me? He's still alive, but he practically walking vegetable you feel me i don't know how he's doing now but back then he wasn't he wasn't himself no more you feel me and um they shot mike in both his legs but he lived that time but you still messing with the ops girl you feel me they mess with one you mess with one so right after that i don't know how much time after that it wasn't long he got caught. They called him. Stacy called him up over old girl. Mama house coming out of there and aired him out. Stay so they find him. They find cigarette butts. So they say he had been out there for a minute out there smoking cigarettes, a few cigarette butts out there allegedly in the, in, in, the, in the bushes. I don't know how true that is. I'm going to see if he tells us the story. He didn't confess to it. You feel me? But yeah, um, Frank. Frank running around. Now look. Frank caught it first. I told it wrong. I got to go back. Frank caught it first, I think. Because um, I seen Frank before I got locked up. Yeah, I, I, I seen Frank before I got locked up. 
he didn't tell me what was on the floor, but he told me he was having problems. You feel me? But mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't think he, he didn't want to speak on it. He didn't know how it was coming, but Frank was a good guy. Frank Frank was a hustler. He wasn't in no gunplay, nothing that Frank Frank could take a L. You, you run off with Frank stuff, Frank don't make it back up. Frank wasn't trying to get you killed, none of that. You feel me? He was a twin. He had a twin brother. But anyway, um, he told me, but he ain't tell me it was his friend, so I would have told him how 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 extreme that it was he took care of that. You feel me? If he would have, but he didn't say who it was. Then when I get locked up, then I start hearing what the play was. Because when I get locked up, I, like I said, I talked to little Bobby while I was in the county jail. And that's when he tell me he had the counterfeit money. <laughs> so then I put it together. <clears throat> what happened to Frank? You feel me? I didn't know what was going on because Frank didn't say it. But when, when Bobby tell me he had the counterfeit money, and and then Frank get killed. Then I start hearing everything else. Then I start putting it together. The streets start talking. They had put that money on Frank. That's why when I talked to Frank, he had came by and kicked it with me. He was so nervous and scared. You feel me? Right. Because he knew he knew he owed them killers. You feel me? You know they name. You know not not putting not um ratting on them or putting it out there. Back then, when you heard the best friends, it was death behind the boys' name. Simple as that. You feel me? It wasn't nothing else. It wasn't about, and they was getting real money. They they would work with a few hundred thousand, maybe a few million. You feel me? Because they had all the toys, and they had the bricks, but they was main, main, mainly known for busting that gun. You feel me? At, at, at this time, when all this going on, mm -hmm. where's the where's the Curry brothers ranking in this, and where's the Chambers brothers at? Man, listen. No, no disrespect to either either set of them. I ain't got no beef with either one of them. They were they wasn't into that. They were smarter than that. They was strictly hustlers. You feel me? The, the curry, the cur and then you guys said curry boys. Look at them. Johnny and them was old. You feel me? They was businessmen. They were you know we was kids. You got to understand all the people I'm naming to you besides besides Cliff Demetrius and, them, and she, even Demetrius and them. You got to think about it. When Meech got killed, Meech was what 31, 32 years old. When Maserati got killed, he was about 28. So you got to understand, they, they was really kids getting all that money. Not kids, but young adults. They weren't no old cats, you feel me? So Johnny and them had to be old, a little older than Meech and them back then. Johnny and them was already founded. I ain't saying they was way older, but they was a little older and they, they was businessmen. You know, they owned two clubs. They owned um, um, limousine service, a floor shop. And them boys, them boys was the weed men. That's what they was known for. That's why. Why you thinking that movie and all that? Them them doing a the movie with White Boy Rick, and they was saying that he was serving them dope. They weren't getting no bunch of dope. They was really the 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 bud the bud crew. They had all the weed back then. People were smoking yeah. weed like that back then. Yeah, the weed was going back then. Then you gotta understand it was illegal then, so it was more money in it then. You feel me? All so right. yeah, they, they they was plugged up on the weed and the, and the flash. Where you think White Boy Rick got that flash from? The Curry Boys had that flash, flexing. You feel me? They had all the exotic exotic type cars, them X calibers and all that type of shit. The the Mercedes Benz, they had the Benzes and the, you know the jewelry and the Minks. They was flexing. You feel me? So Rick Rick was attracted to that dog. That's why he wanted to be around them. They was they was known for having money. They weren't known for busting their gun or getting people whacked or nothing. You feel me? They were strictly getting money as well as the chambers. And see, I'm glad you brought up the chambers because uh, family members from other states and friends from other states asked about them too, being locked up with BJ and seeing their story. Like Detroit, y'all let some y'all let some out of town boys come down there and get some money. <laughs> that yeah that yeah that ain't how it happened though. They didn't come down here and set up shop and get money. They oldest brother moved here and was working at Chrysler. He wasn't in the streets, the oldest brother. By them being so poor, he started sending for little brother to come up here and get jobs where we could take care of our family, where we could eat, get in this plant, Chrysler, the big one of these big three. So he sent for BJ. Well, BJ come up here while he up here, he gets to live. He lived here. He started dating Detroit girls and all that. A chick, he telling this stuff. A chick turned him on a, He's selling weed like nigga. You that that ain't what's happening no more. That weed slow. You want to get some real money? You need to get with this and turn him on to the crack game. Her brother's name was getting money. You feel me? And he started right. he started flipping work. He 
He lived here. He didn't come here just get money. Them boys moved here. And what they did, what was smart on their tip, they didn't um, ruffle no feathers by inter intertwining with um, the rest of the Detroit players. They didn't try to mingle with all the other big fellas. Um, they didn't even fuck with the big fella girls. They fuck with young girls in the neighborhood that didn't hide nothing. Um, they only sold crack. See, that was another thing. They didn't sell weight to get known. They weren't trying to sell weight to be the big marks to bring attention to their stuff. That's why I, on the real, we didn't know they was getting that type of real money. We knew they were selling crack and they had a bunch of different crack houses, but we didn't know they was getting real money until they videotaped themselves. And the fed and the, and the police, it wasn't even the feds. The, the, the local police raided a crack house and found a videotape. The, the, the workers was in there watching the videotape of them counting money. And that's when they like, hold on. And they put that shit all on the news where them boys had counted so much money and they had a million dollars. They they said it, but they had laundry baskets like your mama do the laundry, the laundry basket. They had laundry baskets full of ones. Talking about what we go, we don't even want these ones. What we gonna do with the ones? We go, we go pass them out. You feel me? So that's what drew the attention to everybody. Like, hold on, these niggas getting money like that. They they in these crack houses. What well, they ain't gonna call the, the houses that they was showing. Um, they living in was crack house, but they in the hood. These, these raggedy houses, but they got fourteen karat gold sink faucets in these motherfuckers and shit. So niggas like, hold on, all these boy. And then they showing pictures of they stuff going back to they going back to Arizona for family reunion stuff. Now they got on Mo Gold and Mr. T and all Arkansas. that. Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas, I meant. Yeah. So we didn't know really they had that. We knew they was eating. We ain't, it wasn't like we was naive that they was getting money. But we didn't know they was stacking millions off that crack shit like that until they got busted, dog. Because they didn't, they weren't trying to beef or make no waves in the hood, dog. And like I said, they weren't trying, they didn't sell weight. And they didn't, they didn't, they didn't mess with Detroit guys as far as this. Putting them in a crack house. All the Detroit guys and girls that was on their line was they lieutenants. They used the Detroit people to, to run their shit. And they went to their home to Arkansas to get their own workers. They brought them country kids back up here and they chained them and, and, and boated them in them crack houses. So then was they workers. And then they had the, the Detroit people to watch over them and take them their packages, their food and all that. And that's how they was able to survive until they told on themselves. They was getting to that paper once we did see. But no, they wasn't on the streets. They weren't knocking shit down or none of that shit. Now, they killed some of their workers on uh, uh, that they brought up here and uh, stuff like that. Uh, they, um, I think a few of them boys had caught case for killing some crackheads. You feel me? But they wasn't in none of the major drug wars that was taking place um, back then. One second. Huh? Say one second. Okay.